Taffy Wolf here, and I am back with another Let's Play video. We're playing Serpent the Ultimate Suite, so let's do this. Then everything. I, wait, I already read all this. I already read this. So. I still don't like it. I'm not hiring a spy, and she's not staying here. That's final. Spying is not a friendly thing to do. And your eyes are so shiny. Exactly. Well, I. That. Which is. Which. I get it. It's why I gotta be proactive here. Sigh. Just a quick chat. Notice how some nicknames that characters get are like probably like at least one war taken out. Like for Taffy's na nickname is Taff. Yeah, I'm a little lazy. We're taking her back to where she came from. Close up the shop and follow me. Master Bastille, I do not understand one bit. I'm sorry. I wish she could stay with you too. I clearly made all things easier. Oh well. Why is there a cottage in the middle of a city? Explain that to me, please. You all visitors. Tell the witch we have something of hers. What do we have? She's talking about you. Is that candy golem ya? Looks very well made. Master will be interested. Yeah, yeah, just get her out of here. So bossy, Nya. Hey, Master, your old pal the candy outdoors is here with something sweet, Nya. What? Don't lie to me, Toffee. She'd never bring me anything. Finally, I said it right after the third try of, of recording. Honest, Nya. Come see yourself. Bratty witch. <laughs> this gets me the good love day. Well, well, well. I never got to get to see the day where the great candy alchemist Sarah personally brings me candy. Butterscotch. Let's see. Ooh, a laugh size girl shaped candy. It looks delicious. Butterscotch is a cannibal confirmed. I am relieved to hear that. I was worried it didn't look tasty since Sarah refused to eat me. But she. Okay. It's alive? Where did you get your hands on a comb like that? Quit playing dumb. I know you made her to torment me or spy on me. You think that I... Oh, yeah! Well done, Candy Alchemist. Right. I made this goal of myself with my incredible power. Of power. Yeah, wow, Master. I can't believe you made something so sophisticated without me even noticing. Yeah. Oh, shush. This is nothing. Don't you dare show sure I will stab you. I can do higher level of power in my sleep. I'm avoiding to say magic because I don't really like it. It doesn't count if it's in your dream, master. Yeah. That's not what I meant and you know it. Sigh. Are you sure you are a leaver with these two nut jobs? My mind's made up. I already told you she's not staying with us. They made her. They can have her. Wait. You really brought it to give it to me? Just take your candy weirdo back and leave me alone! Huh? Come off, Hestiel. Are we leaving? Sorry, you have to stay here. How will I get along with Sarah then? I promise to come visit you. I'm sorry. Sweet, free candy servant! Wow, lucky us, Nya. Oh my god, I'm scared. The next day, Hestiel checks on the candy girl. Butterscotch has eaten her diligently away, leaving the poor golem in a miserable state, and probably getting diabetes. Also, why is there like a bat on her chest? A very concerned Bastille confronts Serb about the consequences of her freaking actions. We can't let Butterscotch keep treating her like so badly. Some of her limbs are missing. She looks so, so miserable. Not my problem. Please, Syrup, I know you love shutting people out, but I'm really worried about her. Butterscotch will listen to me. I need your help. Time to save Butter! What? <laughs> Alright, if it's that important to save a lump of candy, I'll help you out. Thank you. Every, be every bite I have is more and more delicious. This candy, this good, must be a sin. Miss Butterscotch, you know what you know what you do is kind of a sin too. If you continue to eating that leg, soon I will not be able to walk anymore. You don't talk anymore. Hey, how rude! You didn't even wipe your feet before about to get yeah. 
<laughs> oh god, my voice cracked. Stuff a cat. I'm taking my golem back. What? It's just a gift. No take backs. Take backs. What are you, three? Daphne's eight and she doesn't even do these things. This isn't playground rules. I changed my mind about letting you keep this golem because of your irresponsible cannibalistic actions. We're leaving. That's it. Syrup. Blech. You're all sticky. Sorry for letting you have that witch slobber all over you. You know, I think I'm pretty cool if you weren't mean to my master, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys damaged my stuff, so I guess we're even. Later. Later, screw. Meh. Nah. Do I see somebody from Legend of Zelda in that little jar? Just look at it. Ooh, I can't stand her! There was so much left! Why does she- She can make her own candy! Why does she have to bully me like this? Maybe she only wants to taste of the golem. After your lips are on it, and direct kisses. Duh! Toffee, don't be gross! She left the candy golem back to her workshop and began replacing all of the parts that were taken away by Gumdrop. Wait, what? It wasn't before long she was back to mint condition. They decided to leave her hair like that because it was cute. And so the golem started living with Syrup and Castile at your suites. They became a mascot and figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel, jelly something, jelly something. <laughs> you think of something? Have faith in you. What's going on here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. We name you here? What happens to candy golems or pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her candy weirdo. Technically you could. No, you really should give me a proper name. How about gum gun drop? <laughs> gun drop? Gum drop. Gum drop, it sounds nice. I think she likes it. Thank you for stating the obvious. Yes, if I knew it was syrup, she would pick something good. Oh, uh, you didn't see that. Hello, hello! The chocolate brothers are making their entrance. Are they bad chocolate? Taffy, get out of here. I'm recording. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting. So, it's a late, so we decided to pop in. Literally! Dragon Ball Z style! Hello, welcome to Elegant Sweets! <coughs> oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now? How charming. But if we're not mistaken, is that much a CIA for the making? Unless you find a way to create life through your alchemy. Are you a Frankenstein, perhaps? She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. Oh, mysterious! I am completely taken with her. May I offer you some flowies, my lady? Yes, I made an Undertale joke. Magic flowers! You are very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. My goods! You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Sure, you should not buzz around these met these kind, well-dressed customers. <laughs> are you sassing me, gun drop? It's my store. I'll do whatever I want. Gun drop. That typo is gonna be popular. Oh, she has like a little candy bow tie now. That's so innocent. Hmm. Would you perhaps be interested in selling this one? She looks quite adorable. Cute enough to eat, I might add. What is this line? Nope! She's not for sale. Screw off. You can buy any other candy in here, but not gum drop. Eh. She's mine. Sam, I'm delighted that you think of her of me as yours. Don't take it the wrong way. You just work for me. Your looks are good for business. What a shame. Girls are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own. You Stop! You do can do magic. Just make your own. Oh no 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 no. Hi it's a very high spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined powers could have resulted in anything close to that. I'm sure if you can get it, if you tried, now that I not that I know anything about it. Well, well, we'll just have to give it a go sometime then, hmm? 
Now I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. And we'll have more sweets if we fail to make a golem. Should it be a raspberry? No, make it a chocolate caramel. Even Oreos? No. Dang it, you. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that. Allow me to assist you in the registration. Why don't we save game? And that's it for this episode. See you!